Hey guys, they handed out orange towels at Memorial Coliseum and well, maybe a few paper bags as well. You gotta catch your breath in this one and well, it went to not one, but two overtime. Some nervous moments in this ultra critical game number five with the Colorado Eagles. It's a no slow start for the Comets coming off game four in a lost Comets. They get two in the first period first. It's Arter Tinulin. That's his first of the postseason. Then you'll see Ryan Culkin. He'll net to take the lead for the Comets. It's 2-1 to one in favor of Fort Wayne after 20 minutes of play into the second. Midway through for the Eagles. They come back and match this one. Jake Marto for the Eagles. It's all square at two just like the series in the second. But oh captain, my captain, Jamie Shasma said this would be a new Comets team tonight and it sure was off the deflection. Fort Wayne, they lead three to two heading into this critical third period. But the guy that's done him in all series long, Michael Jolie, he has the ECHL goal scoring lead and he does it again. That ties it up at three up. We go to the first overtime here in the Western Conference Finals. Tensions, highs, the winner. They need just one more to reach the ECHL Finals. Trevor Cheek has a chance on the doorstep and then Tinulin again on the power play. The Comets, they thought they had this game won, but it's no such luck. They go into a second overtime and the Eagles on the attack. They get a bouncing pluck. It's Brady Shaw. Deflection in front of the net. That's his first of the postseason. The Comets lose a heartbreaker 4-3 to three in double OT. They need to win back-to-back -back games against the reigning ECHL champs just to advance. I'm interested to see. I mean, I thought tonight was, uh, was a do-or-die game for us type of thing. And again, the guys, even though we didn't win, you know, we still got life. But you know, we emptied the tanks tonight. You know, the uh, the amount of sacrifice, guys are, you know, they're they're dying in there, cramping up. Everybody's, you know, hurting. And again, we were still keep mustering all those scoring chances. How we didn't score there a minute before, I have no idea. Um, but it, it is what it is. I mean, we had a lot of those chances tonight. Uh, we probably outshot them two to one, outchanced them probably three to one. Won the special teams battle. Um, you do all the right things and you still come up on the wrong side of it. So, um, again, it's not always fair, um, but that's what makes sports great. You know, you get a chance to, uh, to now go on the road and try to, try to steal the next one. Game six on Tuesday, game seven potentially would be the next night on Wednesday, all in Colorado. 